What's going on everyone? This is Chris and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to use SSL Strip on Kali Linux. Before we begin, I want to give you a little background on SSL Strip by answering a couple of fundamental questions. What is SSL Strip? What is it used for? And how does it work? SSL Strip is a man-in-the-middle attack tool that allows attackers to manipulate internet traffic and capture data such as usernames and passwords. And it works by converting HTTPS requests into basic HTTP requests. Now what is HTTP and HTTPS and what's the difference between the two? Well, these are protocols that our web browsers use to communicate with websites. The difference is that HTTPS is secure and HTTP is not. So when the user sends his or her login information over an HTTP connection, their login information could be read by an attacker. If they send it over an HTTPS connection, their login information will be encrypted and therefore cannot be read by an attacker. So how does this attack work? Well, there are two components to this attack. First, we need to get our hands on the target's internet traffic. And we're going to accomplish this by using a tool called ARP spoof. And ARP spoof is essentially used to trick the router into sending the target's internet traffic to our computer instead of sending it to the website that the target is trying to communicate with. What I've done here is I've actually put together some illustrations to help explain this. So let's go ahead and take a look at those. So this is assuming that the attacker have already started SSL strip and ARP spoofing, which we will get into a little bit later in the tutorial. The first thing that's going to happen is the victim is going to open their web browser and they're going to attempt to connect to a website via HTTPS. Because we're running ARP spoof, the router is going to forward that traffic or that victim's request to us, the attacker. We're going to cycle it through SSL strip so we can convert the HTTPS request into an HTTP request. Then we're going to send that request back to the router, which will then send it to the website as the target or the victim initially intended. The website is going to finally respond and the victim is going to be connected via HTTP. Now this is step one. We have accomplished our main goal. We want to force the victim to use HTTP. Now what's going to happen, let's say the victim navigates to Facebook. They're going to enter their login information and they're going to click the login button. Their username and password is going to be sent to the router. But again, because we're using ARP spoof, the router is going to forward that data to us. We're going to cycle it through SSL strip, which is going to read and log that data. And then it's going to be sent back to the router, which is going to send it to the website. The website will then process their login information. And assuming they enter the correct credentials, they'll be taken to their account. The victim will be none the wiser because essentially that data is simply passing through us and there's no indication that it's doing so. So now that you understand how this attack is going to work, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that we need to do is we need to connect to the same network as our target. So go ahead and do that. And once you have, we need to open up a terminal. And we need to find the name of our network adapter or the interface that we use to connect to the target network. So let's type ifconfig and then press enter. And this is a list of all of your network interfaces. Go ahead and find the network interface that you use to connect to the target network. And then let's open up a notepad because we need to make note of this information. So in your notepad, go ahead and type interface and then write down the name of your interface. Mine is WLAN1. And once you're done with that, go ahead and move back into the terminal. And before I continue, I'm going to clear my terminal. So I'm going to type clear and then press enter. And now we need to enable IP forwarding so our computer can route traffic. So let's type echo space one space forward arrow space forward slash PROC forward slash sys forward slash net forward slash IPv4 forward slash IP underscore forward and then press enter. And now we need to configure IP tables so our computer can redirect traffic as we need it to. So let's type IP tables space tac t space nat space tac uppercase a space pre routing in all uppercase space tac p space tcp space tac tac destination tac port space 80 
space tack J space redirect in all uppercase space tack tack two tack port space eight zero eight zero and then press enter and now we need to find our gateway IP address and this is the IP address of the router that we've connected to so let's type route space tack n and then press enter and go ahead and copy your gateway IP address and place it into your notepad mine is 192.168.0.1 and once you've made note of that let's move back into the terminal and now we need to scan the target network to find a specific target or a specific computer so we're going to use nmap to do this so let's type nmap space tack lowercase s uppercase s space tack uppercase o space and then we're going to enter that gateway ip address that we just made note of mine is 192.168.0.1 and then forward slash 24 and then press enter and the nmap scan may take a little time so just be patient allow it to finish okay and you can see here that nmap has finished the scan what you need to do is you need to look through those scan results and find a target and then make note of that targets IP address so for example you can see here I have a target at 192.168.02 I also have another one at 192.168.013 and a few others I already know the IP address of the target I want to use so I'm going to write that down in my notepad let's go to write target IP and it is 192.168.0.7 and once you've made note of your targets IP address let's move back into the terminal and I'm going to clear my terminal again to make it a little easier for everyone to see so I'm going to type clear and then press enter and now we need to start ARP spoof so we can redirect the targets HTTP traffic to our computer so let's type ARP spoof space tack I space and then the name of your network interface mine is WLAN 1 and then space tack T space and then enter the targets IP address mine is 192.168.0.7 space tack R space and then enter the gateway IP address mine is 192.168.0.1 and then press enter and now we need to start SSL strip so we're going to open a new terminal but do not close the terminal that's running ARP spoof we need that to continue I'm just gonna move this right up here and to start SSL strip we're going to type SSL strip space tack L space 8080 and then press enter and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move over to my target computer and I'm going to simulate a victim so follow me over and here I am at my iMac which is the computer that I'm going to target the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open Firefox and I'm going to navigate to Facebook and I'm here at Facebook and it looks pretty obvious to me that I'm using HTTP which means SSL strip was successful at doing its job I'm gonna go ahead and log in and I'm gonna use a fictitious username and password I'm gonna call myself user at facebook.com and I'm gonna call my password my pass one two three and then I'm gonna go ahead and click log in and I've been brought to a login page that says my username and password was invalid let's refer back over to the attacker computer and see if SSL strip was able to capture that username and password now unfortunately SSL strip is not displaying that username and password in the terminal but it is placing it into a log so let's go ahead and access that log to do this we need to open a terminal and in the terminal we're going to type cat space SSL strip dot log and then press enter and this is allowing us to view the contents of the SSL strip log and I can see at the bottom of the log there I was able to capture the username and the password 
It shows email equals user at facebook.com and pass equals my pass one, two, three. Now this is just one example. I tested it also against Chase's online banking system. I tested it against WordPress, Yahoo Mail, as well as some others. And I was successful in grabbing the username and password for all of those. So it really shows how effective SSL strip is. Now to conclude the tutorial, let me show you guys how to stop all of this. I'm going to go ahead and just exit out of this terminal. And to quit SSL strip, we'll press the control and C keys. And I'll exit out of that terminal. And then to quit ARP spoof, again, we'll press the control and C keys. So that's it. That's how you use SSL strip on Kali Linux. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.